really wanted to cry while making this several times. Bruh, where I run, man? This is the saddest episode. <laughs> Boom, there it is. Um, you guys have been wanting me to do this ever since I put out Dear Katara. And now that the show is back, um, I've been getting more and more requests for this. And I'm just like, you know what? Let's do this. So this is the YouTube version. I don't know, like I've been trying to stay away from samples because I've been getting bigger and getting more scared at the same time. So I'm gonna be sticking to replaying melodies because if I do get in trouble, I will get in less trouble replaying it than I would get in if I just actually sampled their song. If you want me to make a video more detail about that situation? Cause I have learned more since my last video on copyright and stuff. Let me know in the comments below, but you know. Let me just break down a few unique things about this beat. First things first, I downloaded the actual song. It's called Little Soldier Boy or Lee's from the Vine. I'm probably just gonna call it for Lu Tin because that's the name of Iroh's son. I think that's a more emotional name, you know what I'm saying? So I started with this. Leaves from the vine Falling so slow Like fragile tiny shells Drifting in the foam so I pretty much just stretched it how I wanted it to fit because honestly, it's down at 64 BPM. I'm not sure if that's the actual tempo, but since it's one single instrument, I was able to just put these little tick marks on it. I just move things exactly where I wanted them to be on beat and things tend to fall in place when you go through this process. This is the chords. It's just a random rose from Omnisphere. But Rose, Rose give you that silky, warm, smooth kind of sound. So I also added this little piano. To give it like the lo-fi kind of sound. And then when you put them together, it's the best of both worlds. But besides that, everything else is straightforward. These drums is just a drum loop from Cymatics that I kind of moved around a little bit. Try your best to split up your drum loops. So pretty much this was the loop. You just isolate the sounds. So this, I mean, a lot of the kicks have a hi-hat on it. That's why sometimes you want to put an EQ on it, take some of the high end off a little bit. That's all I pretty much do. I just separate them onto different tracks. So that way, you know, I can side chain things. Like I side chain a few things to the kick I can turn down the snare and the hi-hats because sometimes those are just too loud for me. But yeah, if you like this video, please do me a favor, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. I'll probably put this out on all streaming platforms just randomly in the middle of the week. Um, it's going to be called 4 Lu Tin. So look for it on Spotify, Apple Music, all that stuff. But yeah, if you're not hip to my community page, that's where I'm always asking for suggestions. So go in there, go to my recent posts, and just hit a thumbs up on the ones you really want me to do because I'm going to be focusing on the ones with the top likes. And yeah, stay safe. Uh, thank you for streaming the music. Got more music in the works. I'm a table, don't let anybody tell you what you can or cannot be. Thanks for watching. Eldrea out.